Okay, so hello and happy new year. This is Citrine Tangerine here with another crystal reading. And this crystal reading will be all about rhodochrosite, one of my favorite gemstones. So let's get into it. Rhodochrosite, keywords. Emotional healing, recovery of lost memories and forgotten gifts, self-love, and compassion. Element, fire and water. Chakras, heart and the fourth, and solar plexus the third. Rhodochrosite is a manganese carbonate with a hardness of 3.5 to 4. Its crystal system is hexagonal trigonal. Most often, rhodochrosite occurs in massive granular botrioidal nodular or stalactitic habits, but it occasionally forms prismatic tabular or rhombohedral crystals. The name rhodochrosite refers to the Greek word for its rose red color. Most rhodochrosite is in the pink to red color range, but it can also be yellowish, orange, or brown. The most important deposit is in Argentina, where rhodochrosite formed in the Incan silver mines after they were abandoned in the 13th century. Fine rhodochrosite crystal specimens have been found in Colorado in the Sweet Home Mine and other nearby localities. Pink is the color expression of love, and virtually all of the pink stones have energies that relate to this central theme. In the case of rhodochrosite, the love is directed first toward the self, specifically for purposes of emotional healing. Rhodochrosite assists in doing the necessary work of recovering, re reliving, and releasing the memories of one's emotional woundings. If there were moments in infancy, childhood, or even past lives in which one experienced physical or emotional violence, severe shaming, or was otherwise thrown into a traumatizing emotional situation, the result can be a fixation of a portion of one's life force energies at that point. In unreasoning panic, motivated by the rational or irrational fear that one's survival is threatened, a person may make severe compromises for survival's sake. Inner gifts and talents may be abandoned, repressed, and forgotten in an attempt to comply with the immediate demands of the outer situation. In addition to these direct losses, the energy it takes to keep the memories repressed can cause a serious drain in one's vitality. Rhodochrosite works vibrationally to support self-healing in these important areas. In meditation, it can assist one in moving back in time for the recovering and reliving of the lost memories. During the meditation or afterwards, rhodochrosite can be used with affirmations or other rituals to release the memory and recover the energies that had been bound in the fixation. In some cases, certain traits or gifts can be remembered and brought back into the realm of conscious self. Thus, we find that one's gifts, that which made one special and unique, may have been the very targets of the woundings through which one lost touch with them. The healing of these types of wounds may be the most important inner process in one's life because it allows one to reclaim the self one was born to be. Through its vibration of self-love and compassion for one's inner child, rhodochrosite can be a valuable ally in such work. Wearing rhodochrosite or placing it over the heart during a body layout meditation or sleep can cleanse, soothe, and heal the energy field around the heart. It can repair holes or areas of disharmony in the auric field, especially the emotional body. It can deepen meditations and past life regressions. 
It is also a stone of joy. Taking a rhodochrosite outdoors on a beautiful day and allowing the beauty of nature to enter one's senses. One can re-enter the sense of grace and magical happiness that are natural in the child who feels safe and loved. Rhodochrosite emanates one of the most tender and loving energies of any stone. It soothes the heart and comforts the soul, helping one claim one's rightful answers and to be everything one was meant to be. It vibrates to the frequencies of inner peace and self-forgiveness, allowing one to fully blossom. Rhodochrosite harmonizes with most other heart stones, including rose quartz, pink calcite, rhodonite, morganite, emerald, garnets, and others. Moldavite can increase the profundity of one's journey to recover forgotten pieces of the self that hold the keys to one's destiny. Phenocyte can enhance the vividness of one's inner visions and recovery of memories. Alexandrite and Oregon opal can help with past life recall. Black tourmaline and jet provide psychic protection and grounding during times of deep inner work and self-healing. Rhodochrosite is a powerful heart healer, forming a bridge between the lower chakras of fire and the upper chakras of water. Because of its relationship to both elements, it has the capacity to cool emotional heat and provide insight into issues of the heart and will. The vibration of rhodochrosite aids in healing emotional wounds. Its frequencies resonate with the child within, allowing one to recover one's sense of playfulness and joy in life. Through its healing energies, we are enabled to reclaim innate talents and abilities that have been left behind because of past traumas or emotional wounds. Rhodochrosite carries the frequency of the courageous heart. It encourages one to take action on one's heart knowledge without fear. It aids in expressing love and affection and in releasing perceived slights or hurts. It lends fortitude to those who fear taking action or expressing their emotions. It helps one find the courage to pursue one's dreams. Spiritual rhodochrosite helps one rediscover the sacred practice of play. It stimulates creativity and expression and helps one align to the frequency of love. Emotional rhodochrosite is the foremost ally in healing the inner child, especially where deep emotional traumas have left one unable to feel joy or express one's creativity. It can help one feel more confident in using one's will to create one's reality. Physical Rhodochrosite is ideal for nervous system imbalances. It offers energetic healing to the myelin sheath that covers and protects the nerves and can be a great aid in withdrawal from caffeine or other stimulants. It is an excellent anti-anxiety and anti-stress stone. Affirmation With compassion for myself and others, I encourage the process healing from past wounds and I embrace with joy the recovery of my wholeness. With compassion for myself and others, I engage the process healing from past wounds and I embrace with joy the recovery of my wholeness. And that is it for the rhodochrosite crystal reading. I hope that brought you joy. To be honest, one of the reasons why rhodochrosite is one of my favorites is because of its emotional healing abilities. I found rhodochrosite in a time when I was looking to heal myself and look into myself and find more self-love. And the pink tones and the rings and uh, the different shapes that form within rhodochrosite are just inspiring. They, they really do move you to 
feel and understand exactly what this crystal reading says about the stone. It, it's fleshy, um, internal organ sort of color. You know, it does remind me of myself in my body. And then the pinks and the sparkles and then the intricacies of all the shapes, they remind me of like our personalities and the complications of being a human and um, how easy it is to be traumatized by things and not understand or even notice. So I'm in the opinion that everybody has some type of trauma and, you know, whether it's current or more recent or if it's from a long time ago when you were a baby or a child or um, I I believe we all have a lot of healing to do and it's always a good idea to look inward at our our experiences and discover any blockages or discomfort we may have that is associated with something that has come and gone. So I encourage you to pick up a piece of rhodochrosite. Um, also pick up this book that I read these crystal readings from, the Book of Stones, who they are and what they teach. Um, Robert Simmon and Aisha Asian, um, very, very informative and helpful. So Happy New Year again. If you're looking for pieces of rhodochrosite, I do have select pieces for sale. So please contact me directly. Also, I have jewelry pieces made with rhodochrosite. So citrinetangerine.com. Also, a new venture that I am doing as a collaboration with another artist, jewelry designer, um, smokycitrine.com, S-M-O-K-E-Y citrine.com. Um, have a look around there too. We will be selling beads and crystals and jewelry and some lifestyle products as well as home goods and art. So have a fabulous day. Heal yourself. Be gentle and spread love.